Media Arts offers a variety of experiential learning opportunities for students. We have professional or faculty mentored projects that students are able to participate in. As the projects progress, as they begin to work on more and more things and interact with each other, they begin to feel more of a sense of belonging. They're also developing these friendships that transcend the university. The Media Arts program does a great job of pairing each student up with a faculty mentor. That one-on-one -on -one mentorship that I had was priceless. And the connections I've made in those opportunities have helped me get other jobs, connect with people, and has prepared me to graduate and hit the ground running. Before I had even gotten into the program, I didn't know if I even wanted to make movies. But since going through the program, I've been more inspired to make stuff that is beautiful, meaningful, and spiritual. I'm currently working as an editor for the South Dakota episode of the States of America Project. States of America is a series of documentary shorts featuring one person in each state in the United States. Ultimately, States of America is about the diverse landscapes, both cultural and physical, of our country. I started States of America in 2009, and after I finished enough episodes and felt like I was ready to share them, I started sharing them on my website and ultimately was picked up to be seen on public television stations nationwide and pbs.org. One of the really unique things that Brad Barber has to offer, both I think as a mentor and teacher and as a filmmaker, is his ability to offer opportunities to new and emerging filmmakers and helping the student filmmaker find their voice and helping them find and tell their stories authentically. Right on day one, I noticed that Brad really wanted the States of America series to be about people and people's experiences in each state, whether those experiences be good or bad. The South Dakota episode is about an artist living in the Black Hills who, after losing her studio in a fire, finds inspiration in the destruction and is working right now to rebuild herself as an artist. I was walking in my neighborhood and I'd seen this like hunky old trailer and not really noticed it. And then one time I went, huh, I can make this into a mobile studio. And that was something I could do. I'm not waiting for anybody. I'm not waiting for justice. I'm not waiting for building. I'm able to work on this. Getting a single program, much less a series, on public television is quite an accomplishment. And for States of America to accomplish that is, it's amazing. I have really learned a ton from Brad. His methodical approach has helped me through this process pinpoint the story. It's really important to me to teach students how to tell stories about real people, to learn the technical skills they need to do that, but also to learn the storytelling skills to pull meaning and story structure out of uh, a conversation with somebody. It's a really delicate kind of thing. I think that's so important today for us to recognize and hear from each other no matter where we live and recognize the unique value that comes from all across the country. Working in this project has helped me develop technical skills, but I've really been grateful for the experiences that I've had to help me grow spiritually. My ability to empathize has increased. In order to tell a good story or tell the true story, we need to first listen and also have the right heart. And if we have our hearts open to what they're trying to say, we can relate to them and we can find these connections. 